They're a part of all of our lives in one way or another. But in recent years, honeybees have been dying off at alarming rates, leaving beekeepers and other experts concerned about the dangers this could cause. News Channel 15's Adam Widener joins us with that story. Heather, every winter, beekeepers around the country are losing one-third of their bees. That could lead to a decline in the fruits and vegetables many of us eat every day. Now I suited up to get a closer look at this plight of the bumblebee. Just the sight of these six-legged creatures causes many of us to cringe. But there's a growing danger that's causing these everyday honeybees to disappear. We lost about 160 hives ourselves. Dwayne Reckaweg has been a beekeeper for 29 years and owns more than 200 hives. Last year was a very poor year for honey production. But in order to get a closer look at what's going on with the honeybees, I had to get suited up from head to toe. All right. Okay. Good to go. Okay, this one is a new hive. It's not real strong, as you can tell. The main problem started in the 1980s. That's when varroa mites were introduced in Indiana. They latch on to bees, causing them to die off in severely cold winter months. The uh, mites go in and they suck the body food out of the bees, kill the bees off, then the bees can't keep themselves warm. Another reason for the decline in bees is the decline in beekeepers like Dwayne here. But they're doing much more than just raising honey. One third of the food we eat is dependent on bees for pollination. You wouldn't have the fruits and vegetables like you have now. Experts at IPFW's Purdue Extension agree. The pollination industry uh, contributes to about $14 billion worth in the agriculture industry, so pollinators are absolutely vital for certain crops. But it's not just outside factors like weather and mites killing bees and causing beekeepers to call it quits. Pesticides used on your everyday home lawn may be killing our pollinators. Homeowners have a big responsibility when they use and apply pesticides because they can adversely affect bees, the, the bees that are left. Giving us a cause to be careful before spraying our lawns. We need bees and wasps around to pollinate our crops. Without them, we'd be in serious trouble. Now, officials say there are new bee-friendly pesticides on the market for your lawn. And get this, in the 1970s in our state, there were 75,000 beehives. But because of the mites causing problems for the beekeeper's honey product, there are now only around 7,000. Reporting in Studio 15, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.